Nihan Dosto, welcome back to your YouTube channel, Shain Sastri. So here I am. Today we are going to discuss about the BAR. BAR stands for Bhabha Atom Research Center. It is basically India's eminent institute, which is doing a fantastically good research in the field of nuclear science, nuclear field chemistry, and other energy related source. Before proceeding further, let me first tell you the brief, how will you reach the BARC center? Okay, guys, one thing you should remember that BARC is a very highly confidential area, okay? So the main office of the bar where they are going to conduct interview is basically in Trombe. That area is highly confidential and it is secure area. So a lot of security security is there. Uh, what do, all documents you should carry with yourself? The first and very foremost document is your I card original. Second is your interview call letter released by the bar. Okay. And other important information that is your uh, for interview purpose. These two documents is the I card and bar interview call letter is important for entering in the main entrance of the bar okay uh, how will you reach that center very simple i'll recommend you if you are traveling through train then go to the ltt okay lokmania tilak terminus this is basically very close to bark center so if you reach ltt from that ltt go to chambur this is the nearest railway station it is a local nearest railway station to trombe and from there you can get a uh, auto rickshaw they will drop you to the bark center okay and you have, I already told you what documents you should require. If you are traveling through airline, then you can go to T2 or T1. Then from there, you have to take the cap and go to Bark Center. Okay, this is going to be a power pack video. So those who are seeking important information, what things you should do, what things you should avoid for the Bark interview, I hope I am going to clear most of your questions. So this is the important events. I think most of the events has already completed. Now we are here. In the next month, that is the 19th of May, the interview selection in, selection interview will start. And here is your important guidance for the interview. Let me first share with you my interview experience. Okay. So the my interview, so my the time of my interview is around one hour and 40 minutes. Okay. So those who don't know, I qualified bark interview and also I get posting in the Kalpakkam center of the bar. That is the IGCR, Indira Gandhi Center of Atomic Research, Kalpakkam. I got posting over there. Okay. If anyone stays in the interview more than one hour, 30 minutes, so their selection is more or less confirmed. Okay. Thing is topic selection in the bark interview. Don't be over smart. Okay. Be confident. Don't get overconfident because those people who are taking your interview, they are actually scientists. Okay. So the first and very foremost thing is the topic selection. This is the one of very, very vital and crucial role. Okay. You should select minimum five to six topics. Okay. Because this, if you select less than five, less than five five topics, then they will give they will give their opinion in your topic. And if you select more than topics, then again it is your problematic. So select minimum five to six topics comprising organic, inorganic, physical, as well as your MSc project. Here MSc project is the main and very important. Write it down in the blank page. Once you enter in the interview panel, the guy who is sitting outside the room or board, he will note down your entering time. Now, once you enter in the room, it is like a round table conference. Okay, five to six scientists are sitting in front of you and you will in a in a very large empty hall. Okay, now they will give you a white paper and a pencil that they will ask you to write five to six topics in that paper. Okay, now they are going to ask you questions from that topic only. So write the topics very sincerely. Okay, what are what are my topics? I am going to tell you about my topics and I will also share you important books from where I studied that topic. So very important topic is chemical kinetics. Most important book for chemical kinetics is Macquarie Simon. Macquarie Simon is the best book for studying chemical kinetics. Okay. Next is spectroscopy. I have given the spectroscopy as a topic for physical spectroscopy it is Banwell and for organic spectroscopy it is Pavia. These two are the best book for spectroscopy. Another is quantum mechanics or quantum chemistry that again Macquarie Simon and another book there is a quantum chemistry by Simons. There is also the very important one and this is the physical chemistry by simon and this one is quantum chemistry by simons next is organometallics this is book written by the prof uh, uh, professor of iit delhi there's a organometallic aj Elias. this is one of the best book for studying organometallics next is coordination chemistry by ajay kumar organic based project th that your thesis okay bring your thesis with yourself because they are going to ask a lot of questions from your thesis also okay now Chemical kinetics. What all those questions they, they asked me from chemical kinetics? Let's discuss. So the very first question is what is consecutive reaction? 
Okay, so this is the first thing they ask me. What is the consecutive reaction? Okay. Con you guys already know this reaction is called consecutive reaction. Question why they why this reaction is called so? So why you are calling this reaction the consecutive reaction? Very simple answer. Since it is basically a step by step reaction, step by step reaction. Once A get converted to B, followed by C, followed by D. That is why it is called consecutive reaction. Next is write the reaction and derive the rate law for each reactant. So we have to write down, we have to derive the rate law for this for this as well as for the production of C. So this is the question. Next, they told me draw the graphical representation of initial rate decay. Consider the first order reaction. So suppose A goes to B, A goes to be the first order kinetics. So you can easily follow that reaction. You can easily derive that reaction as well as well as you can draw the graphical representation. So they are going to ask a very simple questions, but your concept should be clear. Okay, they have a lot of time. They will ask you to derive every equation. Next in chemical kinetics, they ask me how will you calculate the half life of the initial reactant using graph only and show the same in graph? Very simple question. This kind of reaction. If this is my A naught, this is your time, this is A. Then the time at which the initial concentration of the reactant becomes just half. This is my T half. This is the A naught by two. So from this, I can calculate the half life of the reaction using the graphical representation. Next question: What is gas phase reaction dynamics? Okay. These all are the questions that they ask me in chemical kinetics. Okay. Because I have given the uh, topic of chemical kinetics. Next is organometallic. This is again uh, they ask me vast questions in from organometallics. The first thing is what is organometallic? They ask me first question, what is organometallics actually? So organometal is basically the name of the journal. Now the next question is which kind of bonding is more prominent? It is more prominent in organometallic compound. So basically, it is basically the covalent bond between the metal and mostly the carbon atom this kind of bonding is more prominent next is is it necessary to have a carbon for any om compound or only compound no it is never necessary because there are a lot of compounds which are organometallic but there is no carbon atom at all and there is also compound which which has metal carbon bond but it is not organometallic compound so organometallics basically those compound which follow certain kind of properties now, name one molecule which has carbon metal bond but is not organometallic compound very simple Sodium cyanide. Name one molecule which has no carbon metal bond. The here, here complete, complete story starts. So the name of the molecule is Wilkinson catalyst RHCl PPS3 hold twice. This kind of compound which does not have any metal carbon bond. It's a, is one of the very important organometallic compound because it is used as a catalytic hydrogenation. It is basically a catalyst. So what is the formula? The same. They asked me to write the formula. They asked me to draw the bonding, hybridization, and your shape and structure as well. There's a lot of things regarding this. So what is the use of Wilkinson catalyst? Next question was, what is the use of Wilkinson catalyst? Very simple. It's basically a homogeneous catalytic hydrogenation. Okay. So it is an organic, it is basically a uh, catalyst which is using in homogeneous catalysis for reduction of the alkene to al alkene. Now they ask the next question, what is actually a catalyst? Now here again, they ask me in kinetics. So this, they told me to draw the graphical representation showing how actually catalysts work. Very simple by lowering the activation energy. Nothing more than that. They asked me a lot of things regarding this activation energy and like that questions. Now homogeneous and heterogeneous catalyst. Okay. So since they are asking me questions regarding catalyst. So one of the scientists told me. So tell me what is basic difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous catalyst and what do you think which is more important as per your experimental in view of experimental design okay so homogeneous catalyst has their own merit heterogeneous catalyst has their own merit and homogeneous since being it is homogeneous in nature so it will easily it will easily dissolve in the reaction mixture that's why it has then again the separation of this byproduct become very difficult in homogeneous catalyst so all the catalysts have their own pro and cons next question is what is catalytic hydrogenation? Now they ask me the questions from the organic chemistry. Show some catalytic hydrogen using homogeneous catalyst. There is a Wilkinson catalyst. What is their benefit over other catalytic hydrogenation? Okay, heterogeneous catalytic hydrogenation, for example, your metal based hydrogenation. Next is benefit of Wilkinson catalyst over as catalytic hydrogenation. So this kind of question in the bark interview, you can actually move in move that interview by your way by giving the answer that you know by giving this answer this, the interviewer may ask another question from that answer only okay this is how you can lead the interview now next come is spectroscopy 
Now, whenever you give the spectroscopy as a topic of selection, automatically, naturally, they will ask you question of quantum mechanics. Okay, so they don't think that quantum mechanics or quantum chemistry is different from a spectroscopy. They are the same thing for them. First question is, which spectroscopy technique you think is the most important during your MSc project? Now, by that time of the interview, they have already seen my interview project scene. Now, that's why they're asking me this question. So, I gave that answer that is that I think NMR is the best spectroscopic technique, okay, uh, during my in, uh, during my project. But that, that answer was wrong. Actually, IR is the most important technique for any organic reaction. So, explain why you think so. So, since I have given the NMR as my answer for the important spectroscopic technique during my MSc project, that they ask me so why you think so. So, I have given that uh, given the answer. Next is basic principle of IR and explain using quantum mechanical model. So I think many of you know that uh, the quantum mechanical model of uh, infrared spectroscopy is simple harmonic oscillator, SHM, simple harmonic oscillator. This is a quantum mechanical model of IR. So whenever you are giving the spectroscopy, you must read about all the quantum mechanical models, whether it is a rigid rotator, simple harmonic oscillator like this. Next is how you perform NMR for your sample during the project. So they asked me the complete, the complete steps. How I perform the NMR spectroscopy? Very simple. I tell the, I told them why. Now their next question is why CdCl3 not CsCl3 is a solvent in NMR? Then very simple because here my proton it will interfere with my proton of my molecule. That's why. So this kind of question they are going to ask if you give spectroscopy and if you since my project was an organic chemistry that's why they have linked their spectroscopy topic with my organic project. A quantum chemistry free particle in a box the energy associated with the free particle in a box draw the diagram of free particle in a box energy and quantum number calculation as well next is they told me to draw the energy write the energy the energy formula for as well as derive that formula for particle in a box with definite potential energy this one in infinite potential is being a free particle so infinite potential energy next is quantum tunneling that is they have given me this kind of system now msc project here comes a very important portion of the video or the interview is msc project they are going to ask you a lot of questions from your project so very foremost is what is your project all about that means what you have done during the your msc project so you must remember everything about your msc project whether it is organic inorganic or any quantum mechanics or any nanomaterials related or any coordination complex related or any reagent based why you think so it is important for society yes nowadays those who are doing research that research should give some result to the society and that your and your research should be beneficial to society so i have given that answer in that respect now what is diabolic since i was using lot of diisobutyl aluminum hydride during my project that's why they asked me this question okay what is diabolic so i have given the example and also i have given the organometallics as a topic that's why they are already asking this. That's why they are asking the question in for dibalite. So I've given the answer. There is a reducing agent for reducing ester to aldehyde directly. Now they ask me how mechanism and what is hydride. Okay, this kind of question. So how it is work as a reducing agent? If it is reducing, who is oxidizing like this? Now since in my project I was doing intramolecular as well as intermolecular aldol condensation. That's why they asked me, how will you increase the yield of intramolecular aldol condensation reaction? It is very simple. For increasing the yield of intramolecular aldol condensation reaction, you just make the solution as dilute as possible. Okay. So the intramolecular means the reaction in between the molecule. Okay. So both electrophilic and nucleophilic center are present in the molecule. That's why you have to just just you have to just make the solution as possible as dilution. Okay. Next, coordination chemistry. Why Werner theory is still one of the most successful theory? Very simple, because Werner theory, Werner has given the theory before the discovery of the electron. Okay, so this theory is useful because at that time, nobody knows about what is electron, what is quantum mechanical model. That's why this theory is very important. Now they have asked me the question related to crystal field splitting and how is this related to group theory? Okay, so you must learn everything regarding the topics that you have selected now let's discuss some other topics okay now they give me the graph this kind of graph and they told me how will you join these two straight line in a curve very simple just put a perpendicular line that is mean you have to draw you have to make a perpendicular line over one line it will automatically join the other line this kind of question next is how you perform organic chemical reaction during your project 
most important i am again telling you that your organ that your msc project is going to going to play a vital role in this interview okay that they are they ask me the every niche detail that how i perform the organic chemical reaction so those who are doing msc project they know what actually is this the last question is why the creation of inert atmosphere is important so inert atmosphere is important because if there is oxygen or moisture it will hamper my organic molecule okay so these all are topics that is important okay now let me tell you what is the steps you have to follow during the interview once you enter in the bark complex already in your interview call letter it is written over there that where you have to report you have to report to the bachelor's hostel in the hostel it is around 700 per day piece is there for the accommodation as well as your fooding is fooding and lodging both is there now in the date of interview you have to you have to go to the interview center that is just the interview building is beside your hostel building okay so there you have to reach by the time that it's mentioned on your interview call letter once you enter the hall there are uh, there are a lot of people in the hall okay if uh, for different different subjects so they will call your name first you have to enter and they will verify all the important documents that is your graduation certificate caste category certificate and all important other relevant documents your i card your interview call letter everything they will give you the slip and that slip contains in which room you have to go for the interview okay so this is how it all works so i hope those who are preparing for bark interview this is this video is going to very helpful for them if you have any question regarding brc interview or other important topics feel free to ask me till then stay tuned to the channel thank you